welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. Today I created this bright summery makeup look using the new ABH Norvina Volume 4 palette. I just got this in. This is only the second time that I have used this palette, but both looks have been so fun and so amazing. So if you'd like to see how I use this palette to achieve this look, just come on in and keep on watching. Today I'm going to use the Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protection Lotion 50 Plus. Um, I did get this in like a little uh, giveaway, not a giveaway, but a uh, like a free gift with purchase kind of situation. But I have long been a fan of the Shiseido brand. I think their skin products are um, obviously first quality and they do such an amazing job. I'm going to use the Ren Clean Skin Care Perfect uh, perfect canvas and this is silicone free it's a, it's a skin finishing serum I've been using this the last couple of time uh, last couple of days and it's been really nice it's been really nice on my skin giving my skin a nice base canvas to work with so just applying that sort of in the center areas and then we're working our way out to the perimeter of the face I'm just going to grab the, the old Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. This is the, again, this is like the holiday version from a couple of years ago, the holiday packaging from a couple of years ago, but it still is working. So today I was thinking I would go ahead and use the Born This Way, the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I really kind of enjoyed this and it does come with that nice pump with a frosted glass. And we're just gonna start dabbing that along the skin. I do enjoy using a beauty blender for applying foundation more than a brush. I'm just not very good at using a brush for my foundation. I find that it just kind of leaves some texture from the bristles and, um, you know, you can work those out, but it's just a lot more work to me than a beauty blender. And the beauty blender just leaves such a pretty finish, I think. Today, I am going to use, if I can find it, oh yes, here it is. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury um, Contour Wand, the Hollywood Contour Wand. This one is in Fair Medium. Hmm, for some reason I had to, thought I had this in the darker one. Okay, anyway, it's Fair Medium. This is what it looks like. It's got the little sponge tip applicator and you do have to twist this. And then I, what I like to do just to make sure is just lightly give it a squeeze until I see the product just starting to emerge onto the tip. That's enough for you. So then um, I apply this and because it is so kind of concentrated, I do do it in a little dotted pattern like so. Well, not that one, but along the cheek and then along the forehead, I do a little dot dot. And you know, just just cause, let's do a little bit on the nose area. Oh, that was probably a bit too much, but that's okay. This stuff, um, it it blends out so well and so easily. It's okay to go a little overboard. You you, you really can't mess this up. So I just like to start with a little bit of a dab, and I'm just gently dabbing. I'm not pressing hard. And then once it's kind of blended in, then I might do a couple flicks up the face just to work that contour in and blend it out a little bit. But again, I'm just being very, very light with the product, like so. And then same thing on this side, we're just starting with some dabs. We're working that into the skin. And then once it's sort of blended in, we're just gonna do some little flicks up the face. When you're working with the cheek, you always wanna go up, you don't wanna go down. This is kind of big to be using for the nose, but it's okay in this case because I'm still telling you, the Charlotte Tilbury is so easy to work with that you just pat, 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 pat it in, kind of, and then again, you wanna flick inward, like so, up. Up along the nose area here and then inward towards the bridge of the nose this way. Same thing with the with the temple area. Now, if you are, if you have a taller forehead, a higher forehead, you'll want to do a little bit of contouring up here. I don't have a taller forehead. I have my very round face. So I'm trying to kind of build height in my face by receding the sides of my face. 
So that's why I only apply along the temple, not all the way at the top of the forehead. And then I am flicking this back gently um, because I don't want to move the foundation underneath. I am flicking this back towards the hairline. For the powder contour and sculpting, I'm going to use the Natasha Denona. Another not very inexpensive, I mean, let's just, let's just call it what it is. It's a pricey contour, but it's, it's one of my favorites. And I just kind of feel like using easy makeup that I don't have to fight with today. Sometimes you just want to come in and you want to use products that you know work for you. You want to use products that you know are not going to fight with you. You're not going to have to work with them too much. And that's what I'm looking for today. I'm going to take this Milani highlighting brush and I'm just going to um, do a little swirly swirl here. I'm going to take this down the nose. Okay, I know that the contour is a little aggressive on my nose. That's what concealer is for because I know that I get kind of aggressive with the contour and it starts looking weird. So um, I'm going in with the Too Faced Concealer. I don't even think I told y'all the shade that I'm using. So the um, foundation is in natural beige and the concealer, oh, the concealer is also in natural beige. I don't always get the same shade of concealer and foundation. Sometimes I like them to be a little bit different because with concealer, you're trying to brighten and, and reshape. So, um, so I don't always do that, but I think when you are trying to conceal, you want to use something pretty close to your skin tone. Work this concealer in, and this is the sponge that I was telling you guys that is, you know, pretty, pretty affordable. I own about, I don't know, five of these. I just, I just think it's like a great, I've never tried to use this for foundation. Maybe I should. I've only really used this for concealer, um, but, it's just, it's really my favorite sponge ever, ever, for for face or concealer. So maybe, I think tomorrow I'm going to try to use, I've never even thought about using it for foundation, but tomorrow I'm gonna try it. All right, I'm going to put this, I'm using today uh, the Hourglass Veil. This is such a pretty powder. I'm just gonna use this to set the concealer under the eyes. Next, we will go ahead and do the eyes. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Again, just because, you know, we know it works and I don't really just feel like dealing with things that we don't, that aren't tried and true. Today is kind of, except for the eyeshadow palette, which I mean, the eyeshadow palette I think is pretty tried and true just because of, well, we'll talk about it when we get there. But I just feel like using tried and true makeup is what I'm saying, That's all I'm saying. Now on to, how do I feel like my brows? Okay, now on to the, um, the eyeshadow. And so this is what we're going to use. This is the ABH uh, Norvina Volume 4. Look at the size of this. This is the size of, size of my face. It's actually bigger than my face. Look at that. And I have a big face. So how many shades are in here? I don't even remember. Um, this little palette has had, it's not little, but this palette has had a bit of a journey getting to me because um, this is the second palette I received. The first palette showed up and four of the pans were broken. Um, sadly, it stained my rug downstairs. I'm still trying to get that out. But ABH was super great. Their customer service was amazing. I went online, sent a little email, and um, all they required was for me to send a photo, which I already had done because I read the website, but I took a photo of the palette showing the broken pans, and um, they wanted a photo of the packing slip, so I had that. They responded in less than 24 hours. I sent them the photos and then they shipped out the uh, a second palette. I will say that the first palette, the, um, outwardly the package, like the box that it arrived in, didn't look damaged, it didn't look crushed, not to say that it didn't get jostled, that it didn't get thrown or whatever it is that these poor delivery folks are having to do, um, but it wasn't, it wasn't visibly crushed. So um, I'm not 100% sure how those pants got broken, but that's what happened. This one arrived, and I'll show you the, the uh, colors. This one arrived perfect, completely undamaged, but look at that. I, this, is the, um, this is the first of these Norvina pack, uh, palettes like this that I have purchased, because the other ones, I'll just be honest, the color stories just didn't make sense to me, and to be quite honest, it almost 
kind of repelled me because I am about, well, I'm a visual person and I'm about like seeing something, receiving joy from what I'm seeing and those palettes just visually, they didn't give me joy. I'm sorry to say that, not being critical of them. I bet the, the formulas were amazing. I bet, you know, I and I mean, a couple of them I was kind of tempted, but I, I did skip them because I just, I just couldn't get past the color stories. But this one, I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. So I did order this directly from ABH. I did not get this from Sephora or, or another site. Um, and you'll probably see some little smudgies in here because I did use this yesterday and I got lots of compliments on the look. So I'm just very excited to use this today. So I'm gonna start with A4, which is like a cool toned, a taupey mauvey color and see what we get as a initial wash of color across the lid hmm. it you know this shade is all not this particular shade but this step of the makeup process is going to always be very subtle because this is your first sort of gradient look part of the gradient look that we are trying to achieve I'm trying to achieve anyway is a heavy palette guys just so you know I don't know how trouble friendly this would be to be toning around but you would have endless options with it if you did choose to take this with you and look at this this is even though this is like my transition shade it is laying down beautifully just beautifully there's no more uh, product on the brush so now I'm like in a blending mode and I'm just working this up kind of towards the brow to create a much more try to create that subtle gradient look you know what I'm gonna do I'm like interrupting this makeup application to put on some lip color I did this the other day and it really made me happy because I feel like I usually save lips for for last and then I'm sitting here kind of looking at like dead lady lips uh, the whole time so I am going to use this NYX suede matte lip liner all right so, line my lips and I'm going to use this Marc Jacobs uh, in Clara in 218 that liner is Perfect, perfect with this lipstick. So now we're gonna move on and I'm gonna go into B2 for my next kind of transition shade. You can probably tell by my lipstick that we're gonna go with uh, kind of a pinky look today, I think. Alright, let's see what else we've got here. I think this is a nice start. I'm gonna go in back into that. We're just slowly building this up. You want to make sure you tap off because this is a pretty powdery formula. So I'm just blending out the edges to really clean that up and make sure that we're don't have any harsh lines and we are working on uh, keeping that gradient effect going between the initial wash of color and this more deeper shade. Now, let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna go into E4, which is this, this color right here, this right here, yeah, E4. And we're just gonna deepen this, deepen this little pattern that we're doing. I'm just going to start, I'm going to just start with little circles, little circles on the, on the outer V. Put this down. And again, I'm starting this in that outer V area in little circles, just building that up. And then when I feel pretty good with it, I bring it up across the lid in kind of like a little windshield wiper type motion. Just trying to create some definition on the eye. And I'm going to tell you, Again, these shades are so pigmented, it's, you don't have to use much at all. I think that's so pretty. Wow. 
just doing a little bit of blending out to keep that harshness at bay. I'm gonna go back into Eco Tools brush and go into that B2. I just want to sweep that along the um, bottom part of the eye just to blow that out a little bit more. And then we got to figure out what we're going to do across the lid. I think I'm going to go into this D4 color right here, this shimmer, pat that across the lid. That's really pretty. Can you see that? How pretty that is? All right. This is not quite as, it's not packing on the way I would like, but it's buildable. So I'm, I've done now a second turn with it. Patting it across the eye. I'm okay with it being buildable. As long as I can build it is the thing. Sometimes you just like apply, 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 and you can't ever see anything. And you can see it. I mean, it's there. I just don't know if it's giving me the pop that I'm looking for because we all like a pop, right? I think I need a little bit more. So I'm gonna go into A2, which is this one. Looks like it's kind of got a pink and purple shift. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so that's what that looks like. See how? Ooh, okay. I think hopefully, cross my fingers, this gives us the pop that I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, that's it. That is it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Say hi to everybody, Judson. What's happening? Huh? Can you say hi to everybody? Eyeliner is on, and I even managed to kind of make it go in the same direction. Yesterday, one was going this way, one was going up that way. <sighs> Next, we're going to go into blush, and again, I'm going to go with a tried and true. I'm going to use the Jouer um, so Rose Cut Gems Blush Palette, Blush and Cheek Palette what that looks like inside. I'm blending these two shades. I should just do that. And um, I'm just doing a pat pat. We'll apply just a soft wash of color. I don't want like a heavy, heavy, heavy blush. Just like a little, just a little something, just a little something. So I'm gonna try the uh, Becca Spanish Rose Glow and I think it has kind of a pinky yeah, it has kind of a pinky tint to it, so I think that would look really nice with the look that we're going for here. So I'm going to use this oversized fan brush from Eco Tools, and I'm just going to do a swirl. I'm doing a big swirl, and I'm just going to go. Yes. I think that's going to be a nice transition between the cheeks and the eyes. You don't always have to match your highlighter to your eyes like I am, but I just feel like doing it. Oh yes. It's not quite as blinding as I would like, but we are going to be able to achieve a pinky purple shift on the nose as well. And then I'm actually even going to take this under the brow bone just to lift the brow. If you haven't figured it out, highlight is like my favorite part of the makeup. I'm actually going to take my inner eye. Uh, brush and just put a little bit of highlight on the inner eye brush like so. I know. Oof. I'm going to go into this Becca product. So this is a glowy bronzer and this is an Empanema Sun. This has a pretty glow to it. I'm going to use the Benefit um, bronzing brush and just kind of start at the um, at the top of where we've contoured and flip that inwards. Create a bit of a glow, a sun-kissed glow, just where we think the sun would give us kind of a little bit of a little bit of kiss. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Mac Fix Plus. Bronze light, and I'm just gonna kind of, and then I'm going to go into the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray in Summer Solstice. Don't know if this is still available. Um, I bought this last year, and but I still had like plenty of my old Urban Decay left, so I didn't get to use it. But 
now I am and coincidentally it is summertime so that's that so that's the makeup look guys I hope you enjoyed this uh, kind of summary right get ready with me using the new ABH Norvina palette volume 4 if you like this video please subscribe like leave a comment below and I will see you next time thanks a lot guys bye